Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to yet another beer review with me, Peter, the master of hoppets. Today, joined by Lena. Yes, and today we're looking at a beer I'm pretty excited about trying because I've seen a lot of the American YouTubers review this bad boy and they all loved it. And I was like, yeah, that's never going to come to Denmark because usually this brewery, Evil Twin, Spears never makes it to uh, EU really barrel aged and bottles, except if you go to Himmerin, the bar in Copenhagen, which we should visit. Okay. When we're going there for CPC. Yeah. Of course, we're going to CBC, guys, <laughs> as always. But this, guys, is none other than the Evil Twin Brewing Michigan Maple Jesus. Even more Jesus Imperial Stout aged in maple syrup bourbon barrels on 12%. Sounds damn good. It's brewed over at Dark Horse Brewing Company in Marshall, Michigan. And yeah, as I said, I'm, I wasn't sure if I would try this beer uh, because, yeah, it's... Not often that his uh, beers like this come to, to, to Denmark when they're the barrel aged ones. Yeah, okay. Yeah. But basically, I'm expecting something like Bourbon County. Yeah, people hyped it up for me. <laughs> I heard some people say, like, not just on YouTube, that it's Bourbon County like stuff, which is with maple. And I just heard many great things. And you had the base beer, Even More Jesus. We did that Battle Beers. Oh, yeah, and we mixed Versus it beers. with uh, Scotty Break. Scotty Break, yeah. yeah. So this would be really interesting. We also got to give a big thanks to Best of Beers, DK for this one. It's a great little Danish web shop you guys should check out. They sh uh, ship. Yeah. Well, I think they ship now to most of Scandinavia, but you can try and write in the e email and uh, see if they can figure something out. But they have a great selection on there right now. Uh, they just got some new stuff in, some new Swedish IPA too. But check them out, guys. Really looking forward to this one. So, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's check out the color. That's pitch black. Yeah, it's very black. Um, There's like no light coming through this beer. Brown head, sort of like you would see on a co cup of coffee. Yeah, like really brown tan looking and yeah. like really, yeah, nice. Really dark and rich and thick looking. I can't wait to try this. Thick. I think it's going to be nice. I hope it's going to be nice. Look at how this. <laughs> It sticks to the side of the glass. Yeah, yeah, it looks it looks awesome in the glass. I think I'm like the last YouTube reviewer for well, the American ones have reviewed it, but so many people reviewed it already, so it should be nice to finally try it. So yeah, let's check out the aroma on the Michigan Maple Jesus. Oh, oh. <laughs> that smells awesome. But oh man, so full of bourbon. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Like bourbon and vanilla, and like it has that kind of maple syrup note to it, but it's, yeah. I don't think it's that like super intense. But it's there. It's not as like the last maple beer I had was Wide Awake It's Morning by Funky Buddha. That had like it was like maple syrup pancakes, like mm -hmm. almost like maple syrup on pancakes. But this has like that maple, but it's like super bourbon and vanilla form yeah. forward and caramely, but super roasty and toasty. It's got a bit of that kind of rich. Fudgy chocolatey mm. thing going on in as well. It smells fucking killer. I really want to try this. Let's try it. <laughs> Cheers. Yeah. And thanks to Best of Beers for the beer. <laughs> wow. Oh, there is so much bourbon. Are you. Oh, the, the maple. Mm. On the aftertaste. Lots of maple. Oh, that's good. But this could easily sit in the bottle for a little while. Like, it's like almost like drinking straight bourbon. Oh, the aftertaste is so maple forward. Wow. Like, sweet maple syrup and vanilla mm. and bourbon on the aftertaste and chocolate. Wow, have you I ever, had one sip, the aftertaste on this is amazing. Have you ever tried just drinking maple syrup? Yeah, no. <laughs> well, I, I have. Okay. Are you Canadian? <laughs> no, I just like it. But, yeah. <coughs> It reminds you of that? Or yeah, that's exactly like just drinking maple syrup. Well, the end of it. Like up front, damn, this is good. Up front, you're getting like the roasty, toasty, kind of coffee like notes. Maybe not super toasty, but roasty and coffee notes and chari, and then like just tons of bourbon and wood and vanilla. Yeah. But aftertaste is really nice maple flavor. But it almost. Tastes a little bit uh, um, uh, smoky, I think. Not yeah. toasty, but smoky. Yeah, like a slight um, kind of smoky twang to it, maybe. I can see that, like almost like because this yeah, like super roasted wood. malt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Maybe the wood on the inside is charred. Maybe. Sometimes they do that when they, well, 
I think they do that all the time when they clean them. But. Mm. The maple flavor, I'm getting that a bit up front too now. Like really nice sweetness. It's not as like intense and crazy as in, as in something like uh, White Wig It's Morning or Morning Wood by Funky Buddha. But the but, thing is, it's, it's got yeah. exactly the same uh, mouthfeel as maple syrup as well. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, it's, yeah, it's like sticky. <laughs> it it, it kind of feels like just drinking maple syrup but with, uh, with bourbon and then some roasty with coffee, maybe. <laughs> yeah. See, normally when you mm. drink a uh, beer that has notes of something, it still tastes of beer with notes of something. I'm this tastes like maple syrup I'm amazed with notes of beer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm amazed how the palate and flavors kind of develop. Because at first it was so much bourbon, but the more I sip on it now, like I'm getting just more and more and more uh, maple. Mm. Like at first it's like, oh, there's maple there. It's like, it's just growing like more maple, more maple, more maple. maple. And you feel that like sticky sensation on your lips too. Like that, mm. like sugary, like it's nice, like, like the thickest mouthfeel, but it's like full. And then it's like super oily. Again, as yeah. you said, like sticky, like maple syrup on the mouthfeel. It's damn good. It is yeah. really good. It's it's not like hundred beer for me, but I still think it's a really damn good barrel aged imperial stout. It's a what? It's the first barrel aged stout of the year as well. It's a great oh, yeah. way to start the year. Yes, it's gonna be hard to top. I think. Mm -hmm. it really makes me want to smoke cigar. <laughs> yeah, and we can't <laughs> fuck this with the cigar for New Year's. Yeah, that, that would have been amazing. Awesome. Amazing. We had vanilla <laughs> shake, and you had. Uh, I had barrel aged vanilla shake, and you had something else. I can't even. Remember. I just had yule milk. Oh yeah, you'd make by a toy. Yeah. Uh, but I just had that one. Right? It's, it's like 15% milk stuff. <laughs> I just had that. <laughs> no, this is damn good. Uh, rating wise, I'm like 98. It is fucking amazing barrel aged beer, but mm. it, it just doesn't blow. Like morning wood is like close to the 100 area as well, but I think I might like that a bit more because even though it's uh, artificial flavors or whatever, it just it takes like breakfast with pancakes and coffee and shit. This is more like, you know, a nice imperial stout with really big bourbon and maple flavors, but it's mm. amazing. It's just like, it's got a little too much heat for me and it's a little bit thin. Just small things that pull us down to 98. Do you think it's thin? Maybe not. I and mean, I it is And I don't think it's got too much uh, heat. <laughs> it's, 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 it's... Okay, let's bump it up to 99 then, but it's yeah, not 100. 99. Is... 99! Definitely 99. I don't know what 100 would be though. Well, maybe. Less, just a little less alcohol maybe. And then. No, well, I think and when I was talking about this, I was just nitpicking. But it's fucking great. Uh, and it's it's sitting on shelves right now locally. So, uh, or locally, at Best of Beers, which is locally as well actually. <laughs> but, I mean, I'd go hop on to Best of Beers and get yourself a bottle if you haven't gotten some already because it's fucking if awesome. If somehow they could make this taste of pancakes as well. Yeah. That's yeah, 100. So, yeah. Awesome stuff. Thanks a ton to Best of Beers for this one. This was a great little treat. Uh, yeah, guys, check it out. Let us know what you thought of the Michigan Maple Jesus if you had a chance to try it. Um, either in Europe or in the States. It's the same, you know, American batch, so. Let us know, guys, and as always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page, and Twitter, and Instagram, and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And we're gonna say cheers. <laughs> and I needed to burp. <laughs> cheers, Pete. Cheers, Pete. And see you guys in another beer review.